Flattery and love bombing. Guarding against danger. In an age where social interactions are increasingly complex, the phenomena of flattery and love bombing have emerged as subtle yet potent forms of manipulation. These tactics, though often cloaked in the guise of admiration and affection, carry inherent risk that can undermine personal integrity, emotional well-being, and the authenticity of relationships. The Bible, with its timeless wisdom, offers insights into the nature of these behaviors and guidance on how to navigate the challenges they present. Understanding Flattery and Love Bombing Flattery involves offering excess praise or compliments typically to gain favor or advantages from others. Love Bombing, a related concept, is the practice of overwhelming someone with signs of adoration and affection often at the start of a relationship to win their trust for ulterior motives. Both tactics can be manipulative, aiming to influence or control another's behavior through undue praise or affection, creating unhealthy dependencies, and masking insincerity or potential hostility. Biblical Insights on Deceitful Practices The Bible warns against the use of flattery portraying it as deceitful and potentially harmful. Verses such as Psalm 5-9 and Proverbs 26-28 highlight the untrustworthiness and destructive nature of flattery. Proverbs 29-5, for instance, warns that a man who flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet, suggesting that flattery is akin to setting a trap. These passages reflect a broader biblical theme that true wisdom and integrity shun deceitful speech. The dangers highlighted. Number one, manipulation. Flattery and love bombing can lower an individual's guard, sway them into thinking positively of the flatterer, and lead to unhealthy power dynamics. Number two, insincerity. These behaviors signal insincerity with admiration or love not rooted in genuine feelings, but in an agenda to influence. Number three, dependency. Love bombing creates an unhealthy dependency with the recipient becoming reliant on the flatterer's approval and affection. Number four, emotional volatility. Those who employ flattery or love bombing may react negatively when their expectations are not met potentially leading to hostility or further manipulation. Biblical Guidance for Resilience The Bible offers strategies to resist manipulation and deceit. Seek discernment. Ephesians 5, 6 advises believers not to be deceived by vain words, highlighting the importance of wisdom and discernment. Maintain integrity. Proverbs 11.3 underscores the protective power of integrity against being swayed by insincere praise. Foster genuine relationships. Romans 12.9 encourages sincerity, truth, and love in relationships over deceitful practices. Do not crave external validation. Proverbs 27.1-8 collectively warn against the dangers of of seeking approval and validation from external sources, emphasizing the value of self-awareness and contentment. Conclusion Flattery and love bombing with their potential for manipulation and deceit pose significant challenges in personal and communal relationships. The Bible, through its cautionary tales and prescriptive wisdom, offers a beacon for navigating these challenges. By fostering humility, seeking genuine praise, maintaining honest relationships, cultivating contentment, and staying true to one's values, individuals can guard against the predation of flatterers and love bombers. In doing so, they build healthier, more authentic connections grounded in the principles of wisdom and integrity that the Bible so eloquently advocates. Christianity Now is a reader-supported publication 